So we all know that DaVinci Resolve is amazing, but maybe you're already so used to or even invested in Final Cut Pro that you don't want to switch, or maybe you prefer editing on a MacBook Pro and with a small screen size, it's just better to use something simple like Final Cut, but you still want to have the power of DaVinci Resolve in there. And today I have a super powerful plugin for you that brings one of the best functionalities of DaVinci Resolve to Final Cut Pro. The plugin is called Keeper, so let me show you. The tool I'm talking about is the Magic Mask in DaVinci Resolve and I use it a lot because it automatically detects people and objects so I can quickly adjust the exposure of a person or I can completely replace the background as I did in my recent Fujifilm XH2S video. And that is exactly what the plugin Keeper from FX Factory does as well and I would actually say it makes it even easier. And by the way, this video is sponsored by FX Factory but I already bought and used the plugin a long time ago and I absolutely loved it so this is a complete completely independent review or video, however you want to call it. So let me show you the plugin. Now using Keeper is super straightforward. All you have to do is to install it via the FX Factory app, what I like because with that you don't have to take care of every individual plugin that you buy from them. And after that you only have to apply it to a clip with a person and it automatically detects the person and removes the background and you don't have to do anything. And that is actually the point that makes it even easier to use than the Magic Mask in DaVinci Resolve because there you still have to tell DaVinci Resolve what it should mask out instead of it doing it automatically. But that is also the only disadvantage of the plugin really compared to DaVinci Resolve. It only works on people. You can't do it with other objects as it is in DaVinci Resolve. Not a big issue. Most of the time you want to mask out people anyway, but it would be nice to also have the functionality to apply it to other objects. Now right after applying the plugin, it's not really in a condition where I would leave it like it is. I would always set the quality too high because that makes everything look a lot better and I would also use the adjustments thicken, erode and soften to make the edges a bit smoother so otherwise it's a bit too harsh and when you make adjustments then it's too obvious it doesn't come natural. So as you can see it's actually super easy to use but let me also show a few use cases for it because maybe you think okay it looks cool but what would you use it for and my first example here is for color grading. Oftentimes you have the situation that a person is slightly underexposed and in that case you can just copy the clip on top of each other and apply Keeper to the top clip, make your adjustments there, and then you can apply color grades only to the person by color grading the clip on top. So you can color grade the background individually from the person. That helps a lot, for example, if you want to raise the exposure of the person, but also apply a bit of contrast there so that it doesn't look too flat. And then you oftentimes end up getting a much nicer look. Same counts for the background. You could also now make the background a little bit darker or even desaturated or add a bit of teal or blue in the background to separate the background a little bit more from the person. Now you could also do that in Final Cut by using those masks in the color grading tools and maybe even use the qualifiers. But oftentimes you end up sitting there and fiddling around until you get it right and then you have similar colors in the background and that doesn't really come out good because the color grade might affect your background then and it doesn't look that nice. So this plugin keeper actually makes it a lot easier because you only have to apply it to some quick adjustments there and you can completely color grade a person as you want. And you can also use this effect to make a cool transition. I actually like to do that a lot and that is that you already show a person from the next clip before the next clip fades in and it's actually super easy to do. Again you do the same as with the color grade. You duplicate the clip on top and then you extend it to the left so that it overlays the first clip, the clip before and there you only apply the keeper then, you make your adjustments however you want to so that it looks good, that the mask looks smooth, that's really important there. And after you did that, all you have to do is to apply transition effects first to the person and then to the background clip, the clip with the person and the background together. And as you can see, it instantly looks really cool. So this is an awesome effect. I actually used that recently in DaVinci Resolve with the Magic Mask in my XH2S cinematic video. And I think it makes this transition so much much better than just having a jump cut there, even if that would have worked as well. But that's not all. You can actually get really creative with this effect. A few months, for example, I shot a music video for Epidemic Sound and there I used this effect to show myself in a normal speed looking around while everything around me becomes
becomes a time lapse. And the way how I did it was that I just put the camera on a tripod and I filmed myself steadily at first looking around. Then I left the frame and I kept the camera rolling for I think five minutes or something like that. And then all I had to do in post was to cut the clip out where I stand there, look around and then use the other part and speed it up to make it a time lapse and put it below the clip with me. And from there I only used Keeper so that myself was masked out automatically and I got this effect instantly. Of course I also did my adjustments there to make it look a bit smoother, but that's all. This effect only took I think five minutes or so to make. It was actually not complicated at all, but if you see it you probably ask yourself, man, how did he do that? Now you know it and as you can see, it's actually super easy and doesn't take long at all. So as you can see, you can actually get super creative with effects like that. And this is actually the hard part of video editing. I mean, learning how to use a video editor and buying some plugins and learning how to use them. This is quite easy. Like you can do some online courses or learn it via tutorials here on YouTube and within a few weeks, you know how to do those things. But the creative aspects, how to use those effects and transitions, etc., properly to tell a better story or to make your video over all better. This is actually the hard part and the only way to learn that is really by experience. So whenever you have the chance to edit videos either for yourself or for friends, do that. That will make you a better editor. Actually had that recently. I'm looking for a new editor right now and I noticed that there are actually a lot of people that know DaVinci Resolve pretty good and know how to edit properly there and so on. But the creative part was missing and that actually makes it hard to find a matching freelancer for that. And by the way, if you think that that could be a fit for you, then please leave me an email. I'm still looking for a new editor, so maybe you're the one. But let's come back to the Keeper plugin. And as a conclusion, I can only say that I think it's a must have plugin if you use Final Cut Pro, but I also wish that it would be able to track other objects because sometimes you want to use color grades or certain effect on something else than a person so maybe they add that in the future. So what do you think? Is Keeper and the functionalities that you have with Final Cut Pro enough for you or would you also prefer switching to DaVinci Resolve? Let me know in the comments below and if you also want to know what I like about DaVinci Resolve, check out the video here in the corner and also consider subscribing for upcoming tutorials. Hope to see you there.